certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, we've got three rounds of storms to get through through Friday, the first of which will form up here to our northwest this evening. You can already see this watch, this severe thunderstorm watch issued for northwest Illinois, southeast Wisconsin, eastern Iowa. I think storms will evolve here, kind of form a line or a little complex this evening, and then glide east-southeastward. And these may skim by mainly the northern half of the viewing area well after 9 o'clock, and they may start to get out of here by perhaps 2 or 3 a.m. Then the main storm system will arrive and bring a round of storms later tomorrow in the afternoon and evening and another one on Friday. All right, it is steamy out there and the heat's going to hang on, though not quite as intense, hang on for a couple more days around here. With the three rounds of storms, we've got the one tonight, the one tomorrow late afternoon and evening, and another on Friday. And the one tonight could have a couple pockets of damaging wind, and even tomorrow and Friday, both of those could have some pockets or swaths of damaging wind with them before it turns a little cooler and a little less humid for two days. And then the heat's back on as we get into next week. Tonight, though, pretty much near Oxford to just about Battleground, maybe West Lafayette, and near Burlington to about Kokomo and northward. That's the area to watch as the storms come in from the northwest. We may have a line of storms kind of move through these areas. Some pockets of damaging straight line winds are possible. South of that line, it looks awfully capped down here. We'll keep an eye on it, but much less of a chance down in our southern counties. Future cast kind of picking up on that. There goes that line of storms as we get into the nighttime hours tonight. Then we get a break and new storms will form tomorrow. We may have another cluster of storms that passes through and yet another as we get into Friday. Upper 60s to right around 70 in the north half tonight in the south. As high as the mid 70s, 74 along I-74, but 70 Chalmers, 68 at Madaryville. And tomorrow, 91 Lafayette, 93 Crawfords, so even 89 at Monticello and Logansport. Now, notice the 80 to 85 temps here in the far north. That is a lake breeze coming in tomorrow afternoon. Now, I think that lake breeze and the old outflow boundary from the storms tonight will act or help to trigger new storms for tomorrow afternoon. So let's track these for you. Again, we've got the evening hours here. Storms up here moving kind of east southeastward, mainly the northern half after temperature is very hot today. Tomorrow storms again in the afternoon. We'll watch the damaging wind threat and perhaps another damaging wind threat on Friday at 90. A little cooler by Saturday, but we could have another heat wave on our hands as we get towards next week. There's the 70 forecast. 83 Saturday, that'll be nice. 50s at night, but 90s and heat next week. 95 Wednesday again. Still looks like we may have another heat wave on our hands as we get towards later next week. So get used to this for sure. Yes, long summer. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be.